Hey everybody, this is Miranda's Crafter. As you can tell, I've got Champions Arena loaded up. I've been playing it quite a bit and I'm actually liking it a lot. Uh, thought about making some content on it. I figured what the heck. Might as well throw that out there. Uh, it's a game I enjoy, so why not share it with you all? So one thing I wanted to talk about today was one of the issues that I'm seeing with the game is the lack of grinding, the lack of the ability to be able to kind of grind in your downtime when you're not able to do big tasks or not able to fill a lot of quests that you may want to fill or whatever. You need some stuff to do uh, to keep you busy because uh, some games, one of the shortfalls they have is the pacing. It doesn't seem to be, you know, very well thought out. They'll have you going, going, going for an hour and then drop you off a cliff when you hit a brick wall and you got nothing else to do. This game kind of does that a little bit too. You'll do campaign up to a certain point and then you'll get stuck and you can't go no farther until you have a big increase in your power. Right now you can see I'm stuck on 320 and that's a pretty difficult one for me and the team that I have assembled and I can't really do anything until maybe a few daily resets go by and I can get enough resources to really bump the power of my team up. So yeah, I'm kind of stuck. So I'm at a brick wall here. So this is a lack of pacing. This is what I'm talking about, about a lack of grinding because these you know adventure levels here you can't replay once you beat them they're done and and you can't go back and grind them or anything that would be a really good addition to the game in my opinion to be able to allow you to be able to do that even if the rewards were minimal compared to a first time playthrough it would still be nice to be able to have something that you could go back and do at your leisure and just keep on repeating you know a lot of people like to mindlessly grind and if they were able to make a small bit of progress on their account they would do it all day long you know but it, right now we just don't have that ability um, let me go back what I really wanted to talk about though was in the mayhem section because this is a, a really interesting place that you can kind of find a lot of stuff to do and there's a lot of good rewards in here that you may not be realizing uh, most of the currency that you're going to be uh, using is essence in this area. Essence is going to be the power that's going to allow you to, you know, look at these adventures and complete them. Uh, plunder mines is going to cost essence and where you can go in and basically plunder someone's mine that they're working on and take a little bit of this uh, soul stones away from them. Um, you, you, uh, well, I called that soul stone dig. I mean, what are those called? That's lapis. That's what it is. Yeah, sorry, made a mistake. You can go in and you can plunder their mine and take a little bit of their lapis away. Uh, but one of the main things I like doing in here is doing these explore adventures. They're kind of pricey though, uh, so you want to keep an eye on your essence. They cost ten. Uh, essence at the level that I'm at right now difficulty level one to do and then let me show you I've got three of them done right now and I've unlocked the third one with a little bit of amount of gems you have to unlock it let's see what the rewards I got from those were got my XP and I need a lot of that to keep leveling up my heroes so this is a really important thing to do and when you do it, you get the chance of getting a powerful enemy encounter. Right now I got a level 40 raid that I can do now. And we're going to come back to this because these are super important. Let me look at the rest of them that I did. Possible rewards it tells you. You can get more of this millage. The millage you can obtain from contents like Mayhem and Trial Tower can be used in the store. So this is currency you can spend in the store. So that's very important. Obviously, you know gold is very important to help you level up your characters. XP, you also need to level up your characters. So let's claim these rewards I got. I got some more millage. And then on my last one, I have completed and ready to claim. I got some more XP. Good. I need that. And I also found a mine just then. Okay, so let's talk about mines. Right now you can see I've got quite a few mines here that I'm available to be able to do and they've got timers on them and if you don't do them in time before they run out they disappear and then you lose the ability. 
what's so important about these is these are going to be a really good source of lapis for you this right here is a serious currency that you need in this game and this is one of the best places to get it right here so like you can see right here from this mine I get 366 if I mine the whole thing a lesser mine they come in qualities so I get you know 253 253 244 217 so yeah this is a good source of lapis and these are very important right now I'm not doing them because I'm busy doing other stuff and I've got time before they run away so you know I, I kind of save these for when I'm going to bed and I don't have anything else going on I load all these mines up with all my heroes and send them out to explore when I wake up I collect them all and I get a bunch of lapis and then I can you know do whatever I need to do as far as exchanging it for gold to level or you know just using it to level my heroes or whatever you know okay now the raids are something else that are really good too uh, these are discovered as you do your explores sometimes you'll get a raid and you can also find raids by doing a scan world sometimes so like I did one just now and all I got were mines but sometimes there'll be little raid icons here in some of these bubbles that will give you the ability to do a raid depending on the level of your heroes is kind of where you're at with this um, I don't have the hero level to be able to do these higher level explorers or anything right now so I'm still kind of on level one but if you did higher level explorers you'd get higher level raids uh, these are really good because as you can see the possibility of the main rewards you can get are the soul stones for your heroes more lapis these are super awesome the massive mixed items uh, 12 hours worth of vital rewards basically so you get gold and champion xp in there 12 hours worth that's a lot so those are super awesome when you get those i've got a few of those so far and they've been really nice this is a raid rewards chest it has a champ chance of dropping a champion that was an enemy in the raid that's cool i haven't seen one of those yet but i'm really anxious to see my first one of those so right now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do this raid real quick and i'm going to put it on auto battle so we can get it through faster and i'll show you what it's like you get to select your team i want to change my uh, powers real quick because i like to use the low cost fast powers so that i can try to get more of those off per battle so see, I've selected all the ones that only cost three mana versus the ones that cost four because they take longer to charge up. I like to be able to, to sling these off as fast as possible. This is the team I'm fighting against. This is the team I'm bringing. Let's do a battle. I want to try to make this video as quick as possible because I don't want it to drag out too long. But I, I really want you to see the rewards from the raid because they can be really good so I want you to see those so right now we'll just let the auto battle run yes you can have better results on your battles if you get good at doing your cards by hand there's lots of little tricks as far as where you place them um, the automatic reshuffle that happens and you know how to match them and how to build them and and which characters do you use with which colors so there's all different kinds of stuff but that's the topic for another video uh, you can have better results if you do it by hand I've just noticed because the AI on the auto battle kind of you know it makes good choices so it's not the worst I've ever seen as far as AI for auto battle goes but I wish that it would focus a little bit more on focus fire so you know pick the hardest one and everybody focus fire that one down and then move to the next rinse and repeat the auto battle seems to do a pretty good job of that but sometimes you'll have like that dude that's sitting there almost dead right now you saw that one shot could have killed him and took him off the battlefield but yet the ai attacked somebody else instead of taking the smartest move by removing that one player that was about dead so yeah that's that's my only thing about the ai is i wish it would focus fire put more attention towards focus fire uh, but for all in all you know for the ability to be able to just set the battle and then go make a sandwich i mean that's awesome i love that i love games that have auto battle features 
I really do. Um, if a game has an auto battle feature like this and another one doesn't, I have to really, really like that game without auto battle to play it versus one that does. So yeah, I'm all about the auto battle because I got a life and I got stuff I got to do. And, you know, I like the thought of being able to advance my account while I'm doing the dishes or whatever, you know, because life got a lot of stuff going on. All right, there we go. There was our crit. That finished off the battle. My team's working pretty good. I like this team. I wish they were NFTs so I could actually do some earning, but I'm going to get into some of that later with a friend of mine. Uh, so let's go ahead and you can see I joined the raid. I did total damage and then blah, whatever. I don't know what all this stuff means, but basically what it means is now I'm going to get a reward because I beat that battle. So let's go to my rewards list. And you can see that I have three raid battle rewards from two that I did previous and one that I just did just now, right here at 427, the most recent one. So let's look at the rewards for all these raids and you can see why they're important. Claim a reward. Boom. Got 100 lapis. That's nothing to sneeze at. Claim a reward. Boom. Got soul stones. This is very important because you want to be leveling up your heroes. Plus, you can also sell those. Plus, you can, you know, use them to level up and then dismantle or whatever. So those are super important soul stones. And then, boom, got some more soul stones. So you can see why doing the raids is very important. Um, that's just something that's just really, really good to be doing, especially in your downtime. When you're looking for something to grind, Mayhem is a really good place to look for that. Uh, just keep an eye on how much essence you have because you don't want to, you know, reach too far and overdo your essence and burn it all up and then you don't have nothing to use. So I'm trying to be a little stingy with mine, but yeah. Yeah, as you can see, I'm going to keep on doing those explorers for right now because I have a pretty good amount, so I feel pretty good about it. Um, once every 10 minutes, I throw out an explorer and possibly get a new raid to do, maybe some more mines. So yeah, good way to, to uh, grind on your account and help you level up in the long run because the more loot you get, the more stuff you can do in the long run. So this is Miranda's Crafter, and I just want to tell you thank you for being here and, and watching my content today. I really appreciate your time. I know you got a lot of stuff in your life you could be doing, and you chose to spend this 12 minutes with me. Um, if you would, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe because that can help my content reach more people and allow me to have more comments and more interactions and just more fun in general. But anyway, this is Miranda's Crafter, and I'm out. I hope you have a good time in Champions Arena.